Blackhawks hockey coming your way in high definition tonight brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. We just saw a look at uh, Corey Crawford. Eddie told you a little bit about his uh, terrific play of late. This is his eighth game out of the last nine that the Hawks have played. And talking about his brilliance on Friday in Minnesota against these wild. Minnesota in that game, by the count of Matt Meacham, the great video coach, they had 17 chances in that game. Good scoring chances. They got two goals against Crawford that particular night. And at the other end, same guy the Hawks saw on Friday. Nick Backstrom will be playing his third consecutive game for the Minnesota Wild. And incredibly, this has only, it's only happened one other time this season where he has gotten three straight starts for Mike Yo. Kevin Pollock paired up with Robbie Martell as the referees, the linesman Brad Lazarowicz, Trent Knorr, Knorr, a uh, 28-year-old rookie linesman, at least rookie in terms of the NHL activity. And now we get this one underway. Mickel got a big hit along the board from Foline, who knocked him down. And comes right back to Bickle. He kicked it in there. Rodine challenged by Kane. Foline takes over for the Wild. Minnesota played an afternoon game yesterday at home and uh, lost to Nashville. And now the Wild get it into the Hawks zone. Coyle going wide on Jalmerson. Nearly got to the goal. Wild, or the coil dropped it back. Spurgeon goes across. Suter along. Rich cut. Oh, and Crawford never saw it, but it just missed the near post. Now Coyle's in behind against Jalmerson. Huck came loose to the Hawks. Jalmerson floats it back into the wild, and it's going to go far enough for icing. Oh, no, they wave it off. Oh, no, uh, Spurgeon's got to play it. And then the puck cleared back into the Hawks zone. That's an offside play. The whistle goes. Well, from our Bebo Harris Bank Telestrator, Pat. Now, stop it right here. There's Brian Bickle. He's going to go in and make, try to make a big hit here, but he leaves all this space open. Watch what ends up happening. He's going to go make this hit on Charlie Coyle, and now the puck's going to get moved back to the point, go D to D, and then take a good shot on goal, the one that you made mention of, Pat, where the... Uh, where Crawford just missed that, but you know, you know what Bickle's trying to do there, but that's the situation. You run out of position there, it opens up space. A wrist shot, and blocker to side by Baxson. He made an awkward looking save, but managed to get in the way of Seabrook's bid. And now, taken over by the Hawks, Keith. Duncan Keith paired up with Brent Seabrook, and these two were minus three in that game at Edmonton. The other night, and the Hawks a 5-2 loss. Now Eric Halla comes in for the Wild. Halla pulling up, tried to snap it off, blocked by Jalmerson. And along Rashad hits some traffic in front to Smith. Then Smith pressured by Vanek. Game loose to Carcillo, who's back in the Hawks lineup, clearing it out to center. Smith gains the Wild line. A wrist shot floats wide to Carcillo. He tries. Had to save Backstrom holding on. We talk about Carcillo being back in the lineup, Pat, but for the Minnesota Wild, I mean, a guy that we both thought played pretty well the other night uh, in Minnesota, that all gopher line there with Halla and Vanek and Jordan Schrader, and he's a uh, healthy scratch tonight for Mike Yo, and uh, that line was really effective uh, Thursday night uh, in St. Paul. Schrader, the guy you're mentioning, now that line between them had 12 shots. So they were really good, Eddie. Paula was in the middle and Vanek on the right side. But the other guy, Schrader, had seven shots on goal. I, I'm shocked he's not playing in this game tonight. Here's a long shot by Roosevelt, tip just wide. Picked up by Shaw Centering. Oh, and somehow it stayed out of the net with Backstrom down and out on the other side. Here's a Taravina's pass, bouncing loose. A wild get it, and then uh, Carter failed to get it out. In behind Sharp, centered it with Taravina. Back to the line, run blast one-timer, tip deflected wide off a wild stick. Tara Vinen for Sharp, pass was deflected, and then Sharp shot it wide. Taken by Shaw, left in the corner. And taken by Tara Vinen, slipped it in front, picked off Cook. And Matt Cook will uh, get it back into the hog zone. A weak wrister handled by Crawford. 
And a Cook centering pass picked off. Runblad sends it away. Tara Vine to Richard. Hawks completing a change on the dump in. Yeah, good, real good shift there for that line. Draw Tara Vine and Sharp. Charlie Coyle rolled it out to center. Peter Ryder with a chip and chase. Thomas unable able to capture the puck, play it to Bickle. He sends Richards out of the zone. He'll work into the Minnesota and nearly got away from Spurgeon, could not do it completely. And then the puck bouncing up over the glass, out of play. Boy, what a chance for Patrick Sharp. Beautiful wraparound attempt here for Andrew Shaw. Here comes Patrick Sharp. He's got the whole half of the net to the glove side and shoots it right back in and Nicholas Backsham. I mean, he was swimming, and Sharp just yeah. shoots it right back into him. That's one of those, Pat, where you, uh, I would go back with only uh, maybe a half a hockey stick in my hand after missing that opportunity. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be asking Parchy for a new piece of wood. What an opportunity there. Now here's Zucker pulling up. He's been red hot for the while, but his pass missed a couple of teammates. They'll have to regroup. Jason Zucker uh, is taken by Pommeville, whose pass is picked off. Good stick, Seabrook. Out comes Hosa. Hosa gets the line to Saad. Pull it to the forehand center. It saves right to the goal. Flipped it by Hosa. Marion Hosa. Beautiful setup by Jonathan Tay. The whole line figured in the goal, and the Hawks have the lead. And Marion Hosa, who will turn 36 years of age tomorrow, Gets an early birthday present. Our Honda goal replay will show the initial play by Marion Hosa up to Brandon Saad, puts on the brakes, and then Jonathan Taze puts this puck back to the front of the net. Nicholas Baxter loses his net, and Marion Hosa's got a wide open net. But a power move there from Taze. Hosa stays in front of the net. He hangs around the front of the net. And just like in our open partner, we talked about Brandon Saad the other night, Edmondson going to the blue paint. Well, Big Haas goes right to the blue paint and is rewarded because he's the guy that started the play, and he's the one that ended it. You see the Hawks. The record when they get the first goal. Hulsa's got it again. He just wanted to save Backstrom. Able to hang on. No, Marion Hosa picking up his 473rd career NHL goal. And his birthday is tomorrow. Pretty simple play there, Pat, on the goal. Speed through the middle of the ice, kick the puck out, drive the center lane, open up the space. Great play by Saad to recognize where Jonathan Tavis was coming in that second wave of an offensive look. And then you love Tavis taking the puck to the uh, taking the puck to the net. You take the puck to the net, something good's going to happen. Might not score, but something good's going to happen. If you try to play outside the dots and, and play pretty hockey, Always going to be real effective. Bouncing puck will be grabbed by Backstrom. Now, Carcillo and Foline, a bit of a stare down with a few shots after the whistle, but nothing more happening here. Well, fans, don't miss your chance to catch all the exciting Blackhawks action from in between the player benches. Been on the CME Group Seats through the online CME Group Seats auction. For more information, visit ChicagoBlackhawks.com. A very special happy birthday to Andrew Johnston of Darien, Illinois. Happy birthday. Here's Runblad a blast. Oh, a Shaw face-off win. Got a chance for Runblad, but he missed. Back come the Wild. A bouncing puck sticked away by Crawford. Carter against Roosevelt in the corner. Rodziak dug it out. And then Roosevelt stepped into him. And it's cleared back to Spurge, and he goes across Suter's long clip shot. Tipped wide by Carter. Bounce loose to the Hawks, Shaw. Andrew Shaw scooping it to center ice. Now Suter for Minnesota, waiting for them to complete a line change. Spurgeon, pass off the mark, but it bounced to Fontaine. Then Nieder on a driving, shooting. Oh, Crawford gave him a little room on the short side. And they were able to make the left arm stop. Yeah, he was down quick. And Niederreier not able to elevate that puck on the short side. There you see up top there, right around the helmet area. Niederreier is not able to open up those hands. And 
Put that puck on that short side, glove side of Corey Crawford. You see Niederreiter's numbers for the year, but he doesn't have a goal the last 11 games. Wild want to consider him to be a power forward type of guy. They need more production of late. Are they looking for more production of late? 14 goals, not a terrible season, but lately he's been having trouble finding the net. Here comes Oduya. He gets the line, put it across. Taves a blast and a bad save by Backstrom. Rebound to Saad. Brandon Saad. That's it for Taves, working against Coyle. Jonathan Taves, helped by Saad. Hosa is going to join the party. Hosa, stick handles in deep. Rolled it back to Oduya, then Jalmerson. No lane, he winds it around. Here's Taze with a wrist shot, kicked away by Backstrom. The just, rebound just out of the reach of Saad, who now captures the puck. Hosa fights his way through a couple of checks. Hosa, able to hang on under tight check. He dropped it back. The pass stolen away by the Wild, and Crosser will dump it in. Keith, long feed, finding Richards. He's going to look to Kane. Patrick Kane turns in behind. Dropped it out to Keith. He pulled it outside the zone. Hawks have to go back and tag up. That gives Blum plenty of time. Donovan Blum in for Charlie Coyle. Richard Curry, that was uh, Koivu. Puck taken away finally by Keith. Bearing to center ice, here's Richards for Kane. He's got the line, Richards to the net. Kane hangs on. Now Richards to Bickle. Ryan Bickle, four goals his last six games. Now rolled it back, here's Kane. Looking to Keith, he moves in, lets it go. He's hoping for a Bickle tip, and he just missed it. Now a chance for Kane, up the middle, he's centered, Bickle, he's scored, what a pass! Brian Bickle just had to finish it, but a spectacular setup by Patrick Kane, and the Hawks up two. This is textbook cycling offensive hockey. Seabrook to Richards, to Kane, Bickle stick on the ice, right into blue paint. No chance for Nicholas Backstrom, but quick puck movement, strength in numbers, support to the front of the net, and the Blackhawks with a 2-0 lead, and our Honda Go replay shows us. Brian Bickle putting the puck in the back of the net. His ears must have been burner, burning, partner, with you, given those numbers of how well he's played as of late. And the Hawks up by a deuce early in the first. So nine goals for Brian Bickle this year. And more than half of them have come in the last two weeks. Well, but uh, you get a chance to play with Richards and Kane, you're going to find the puck in some pretty good opportunities and pretty good positions normally. And it doesn't get any better than the way that setup transpired. And that was centering past Vanek, just missing. He put the puck bounce back to Spurgeon. Vanek centered one. Oh, and the redirect attempt from Parise missed. Spurgeon held it, and his wrist shot is blocked. And out comes Kruger. He looks to the middle. Smith could not pick it up. That's offside anyway. With uh, nine minutes gone by in the opening period, Marion Hosa opened the scoring from the Hawks, and then a spectacular setup by Kane to Mickle. Too low. Look at the Minnesota Wild. My great Hall of Fame partner made mention of the goaltending numbers for Nicholas Backstrom. Darcy Kemper's been their guy. He's hurt, Keith Ballard, Michael Granlin. The Minnesota Wild are in a little bit of hurt themselves right now, down by two here, not even 10 minutes gone in the first period. Carter trying to steal, Roosevelt got it back. I'm glad, unable to reach that puck against Carter, now the Wild. Able to drop it back. Here's Brodeen. Heard it in behind. Hook and Wilson all got together. Runblad picked up the loose puck. David Runblad in his 10th straight game in the Hawks lineup. Longest stretch he's had since coming to the Blackhawks as a lineup regular. Sharp 
Stepped into the offensive zone to Terabina, cutting in. Oh, his stick checked as he was ready to shoot. Good play, Froline. It stopped back, Oduya's shot never got through. Now Shaw. Andrew Shaw. And his pass picked off. Here come the Wild with Niederreiter leading the charge. Shaw was the D-man back. They executed a good sweep check. And now the Hawks turn it over. Fontaine dropped it back. Suter had a shot attempt block to Oduya. He clears the center ice. And that's ruled icing Chicago. Well, passes for the eighth annual Black Hawks convention set for the 17th of July will go on sale this Monday, the 12th, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Sold out the first seven years. The weekend will feature players and alumni and autograph and photo sessions. Heard there might be a dunk tank this year, partner. <laughs> you get a little Q&A panels, interactive games. Visit ChicagoBlackhawks.com for more information. I just, I, I think I saw your name on the, on the, on the, uh, on the gaming board there. So the dunk tank. I, I thought maybe that was for your horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after today, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Might put him in the dunk tank with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Hosa, short of center when he chipped that, but he's going to hustle. Oh, they rule icing. Oh, most little uh, surprised by that whistle, but icing is ruled. Pat, I got a very special birthday wish. Happy 85th birthday to Gene Kwasniak out there in Schaumburg, a lifelong, and I mean a lifelong Blackhawks fan celebrating in Schaumburg with his family. So happy 85th, Gene Kwasniak. All right. The Hawks in the first 10 minutes of this game have 10 shots. They're on a pace <laughs> for 60. <laughs> Parise rolled it back. Foline looking for a lane. A long shot didn't get all the way through. Elmerson got it out. Block probably about five or six shots so far. Done a really good job of getting in those lanes, denying any opportunities. And we know what happens when you get a shot towards the net. There's a chance for a second or third chance opportunity. The Hawks doing a real good job in the D zone. Here's Sada, backhand shot deflecting wide. And when it's going like it is for the Minnesota Wild, the Hawks got that puck turned over because a Minnesota pass hit the official. All of a sudden, back come the, comes the Chicago offense. But a penalty here. And the uh, Hawks with a 2 nothing lead. They'll have a power play when we come back. Eric Halla has the uh, Minnesota violation for tripping. Hawks with the game's first power play. Six of the last 25 they converted. That's over seven games. The Blackhawks man advantage. Here's Keith for Sharp. He centered it just behind Taze. Bring it back by Kane. Keith to Kane. Shaw's at the front of the net again. Here's Patrick Kane. And Sharp again to the stick of Kane. Sharp. Trying for a long shot. That never got through. Rodine's clearing attempt held in momentarily by Sharp. Now Taves has got a two sharp, the shot. Back to me by the score. No goal. I thought it was in. Hit the post and stayed out. Oh, the Hawks very close to extending the lead, but it didn't happen. Now the Hawks get back and oop. Kane's pass picked off. And a minute remains on the Chicago man advantage. Marion Hosa. Wind it around the board. Ryan Bickle looks back towards Hosa. Hosa spins it out to Seabrook. He'll give it back to Haas. Bickle to the front of the net. Hosa taking a look. Richards going back door. There's the pass. Oh, it was picked off or at least tipped before reaching Richards. And the Wild get it out. Nice play there from Spurgeon. Richards didn't want to dump it. Hawks will try to reorganize. Weber finally does have to throw it deep. Spurgeon against Bickle. 
Cleared up the board, took a funny hop off a partition, a diving Seabrook, a beautiful keep. And now Spurgeon steals. And that will finish the Minnesota penalty. Both teams are at full strength. Nate Prosser, held it to Halla, fresh out of the box. He rings it around. Parise put it in behind. Now bouncing loose, Zucker gonna get a penalty from Oduya, whose stick was right into the middle of the body of uh, Jason Zucker. The Hawks will be short-handed, having just failed on a power play of their own. Failed with that without a couple of wonderful opportunities. Boy, what a chance for Patrick Sharp again from our BMO Harris Bank Telestrator. Look at this area of the ice. The Minnesota Wild look like they're going to be able to clear this puck. Matt Cook doesn't get it out. Fans on it. Here comes Patrick Sharp. Bar down, crossbar down. Jonathan Tays. Puck's laying there. Shaw cannot put it in, but what a chance for Patrick Sharp. And then Jonathan Taves just throws those hands up a little bit too quick. Crossbar and down, and now the Hawks are short. And as you mentioned, Pat, with one of their penalty killers, Johnny will do you in the box for a hook. And the Hawks, PK that's been great all year, now has given up goals against in back-to-back games. Here's Koivu on the Minnesota man advantage. Nico Koivu is fifth in the wild point pr production. They're uh, looking for more than that. Koivu to Suter. Now Pominville. Who can really bring it? He goes down low. Tough attempt. Parise has stopped. Koivu a shot. Is good save by Crawford. And the rebound cleared. Now Suter starts back. Pass bounce away from Parise working against Seabrook. And Seabrook came up with a puck. Hollandville pinched it and got help to keep it in. Seabrook, hey, clears it the line. And only one play to clear the zone, and that was through the middle of the ice pad, and Seabrook did a great job of looking and knowing where the outlet was. Zucker racing back into the Blackhawk zone, meter rider, checked by Smith. Hammered around the board, Spurgeon. Goes to the deep slot, Brodeen, Spurgeon. Brodeen walks in, shooting, good save with the left pad uh, by Crawford, rebound, Coyle couldn't get it through Keith. Held in Spurgeon. Miss Coyle with a pass, Keith able to backhand it loose, and out of the reach of Kruger, good keep Brodeen, he moves in, shoots one, and a save by Crawford through a Niederreiter screen, picked up by Smith with a clear. One last power play rush for the Wild. Drodziak to Blum. Rosa got in his way. Dug out of there by Rosenthal, couldn't get it out. Drodziak goes across Suter, penalty over. Suter now moves in, shoots one. Lockered away by Crawford. Both teams are at full strength. As Oduya took a hit but cleared it ahead. Here's Saad driving, centering, Hosa, his stick tied up. Oh, and it went behind Backstrom, and the Wild dug it right out of the goal crease. Oh, the last couple of minutes, the Hawks came very, very close to doubling their lead. Here's icing Chicago. Well, I'm sure the message from the Blackhawk coaches will be just throw the puck to the front of the net, and Marion Hosa skates by, and you had Brodziak and Blum putting it back through the five hole of Nicholas Backstrom, making sure that you take it out of harm's way, but it's just a simple play there for Saad to just get the puck to the front of the net and good things happen. Tudor's wrister, good save Crawford. That would appear to be a redirect through traffic. And Crawford came up with a fine stop to keep the Wild scoreless late in the first. A look at our Ford upcoming schedule. And the Blackhawks with a few days off where they take on the Winnipeg Jets here at the United Center this Friday, and then the Dallas Stars will be here for one of those great five o'clock starts. <laughs> a good old Channel 9, and then the Arizona Coyotes will be in town on Tuesday, January 20th. Actually quite amazing, Eddie. The Hawks tonight playing their third game in four days. Real tough travel involved in that, but 
as you said, as Parise shot is stopped by Cropper, rebound back to him, and he's able to juggle and hold on Hollow's mid. But incredibly, the Hawks have four days between games, four days off before they play again on Friday. That's the only time this year that will happen, other than the All-Star break. We anticipate a few days of rest. start getting to this part of the schedule, Pat. And we talked a lot about it over the tenure of Joel Quinville, but managing ice time, managing days off, such an important part, and rest becomes as important as anything else over a course of a regular season with the, uh, you know, the tough travel and the schedule, as you mentioned, three and four days. Got to get your rest. Suter, on to center, Jalmerson broke it up. Spurgeon back to Suter. Jumped away from him. Now Parise found it. Back Parise, nearly a point of game player for the Wild this year, tried to battle his way to the middle. Oduya stopped him from doing that, and the Hawks get it out. Spurgeon rolled it ahead. Miko Koivu has one goal in his last 14 games. Koivu dropped it back, long shot for Odin. Oh, that just missed. Oh, Zucker with the redirect. And Sharp to Seabrook with a dump in. Oh, Seabrook hit hard as he dumped it and went awkwardly into the boards, but scrapes himself up off the ice quickly. And now the puck finds him. Seabrook with a shot and a save. Backstrom, no rebound. With one end, Jason Zucker with a redirect, just missed Corey Crawford, and he was coming back on the back check through the middle of the ice. Brent Seabrook went to shoot the puck in, and Zucker saw that Seabrook was in a real tough spot, and I think he overly hit him that hard, Pat, but Seabrook was in one of those tough spots, and good to see him bounce back up. Charlie Coyle. Tipped it in, Fontaine and Keith get together. Keith lost his stick. Crapper doesn't have his either. It's a yard sale in the Hawks zone. Gotta get the Jerry's out there at West Meadows. Yeah, Crawford stick is uh, now winds up in the slot area. Here's a Brodeen flipping it in deep. They look to Fontaine, he picked it out of the air with a bouncing puck. Now Coyle. And it's taken back by Seabrook, who got hit hard and unable to get it out. Coyle out of the corner. Slipped it in front. Here's a shot by Crosser. Big save by Crawford. He went shoulders high from his knees. A good stop without the goal stick for the Hawks. Crawford. Now he's able to get out of the net and get his uh, stick finally. And the play's back at the other end. Aravine into Oduya, Ben Jomerson. Shaw got away from Brodeen, slipped it in front, didn't connect with Bickle, and the Wild get it out. 70 for the first period. Emerson's pass picked off, back come the Wild, Cook with a long blast, fought off Crawford, oh, Matt Cook got all of that, now oh, do you take him down, penalty, Carter for Minnesota, and the Hawks for the power play. Well, after a bad giveaway by Nicholas Jalmerson, Matt Cook with a hard, heavy shot here, Pat. The big rebound goes out. Johnny Oduya makes a nice little move there, and Ryan Carter upends Johnny O. So the Blackhawks with a 2-0 lead will have a man advantage here. Last minute of the first period. And the my set should be, partner. The ice gets a little rough, deteriorates at the end of a period. It's any, lane, any opportunity to get the puck to the net, Fire it at the net. No pretty plays. Those will open up, but mindset should be shoot first. But the Wild able to get that draw from Koivu. Should have said win the faceoff first and then shoot. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Another minus for Old There's <laughs> Taze. Knocked away. Stays in the zone, though. Spurgeon went up the board to Koivu. Couldn't get it out, Keith, four sharp, half a minute left. Duncan Keith's long blast, missed the net. Rebound, Kane is checked, picked up by Parise with a clear. Nice play by Suter there to win the physical battle and then 
know where his outlets were, and it happened to be Zach Parise within about 15 feet of him. Down to 10 left in the period. Taves to Kane. Kane dropped it to Seabrook a long shot. Just missed the far post. Held in sharp. Lines it around. Shaw just had it roll off the end of his stick as he was about ready to try to stuff it home, but it didn't work out that way. And the wild finish with 14 shots in the first period. The Blackhawks had 13. At one point, it was 10-3 Chicago, but goals from Hosa, his ninth. And then Bickle, his ninth, finishing a great game pass. And the Blackhawks with a two-goal lead, 20 minutes in. Back inside the United Center. The Blackhawks get ready to open the second period. Remember, on a power play, a late penalty to uh, Carter. The Hawks still have about a minute of time to work with, with an extra attacker here on a fresh sheet of ice to open up the second. Well, Blackhawks' second period is brought to you by MB Financial Bank. MB means business. Taves and Rodziak will square him up to get the second period underway. Good first period, Pat, faceoff wise for yeah. the Blackhawks. And there's yeah, another they, one. They just wanted another. <laughs> they won two out of every three. So far tonight, Taves is checked at the line, forcing an offside whistle. Blackhawks, you mentioned, have lost three of their last five games, and it has not been any better here at home. They've lost two of their last three home games, so one of the things that uh, the Chicago side wants to get straightened out here in short order because we mentioned the scheduling situation. Now, after tonight, the Hawks have four consecutive days without a game. A couple of those, I'm sure, will be scheduled as days off, as Eddie mentioned, with the Coach Q, the way he usually does things. But if you don't win this game and you got to sit around till Friday until you play, oh, there will be, <laughs> be some unhappy folks. Here's Kane trying to move in. Couldn't find a lane. Kane for Taves. Right on back from the save. Rebound. Just out of the reach of Keith. And Brodziak cleared it. Oh, what a great set play there from Kane to Taves. And I don't know if Shaw got a second chance opportunity on the backhand. But a good set play there through the middle of the ice. Now Kane slipped it to Taves. Kane, sharp as back door. Here's Keith. He'll go to Sharp. Back door to Kane, he tried to center, not quite reaching Shaw. The puck clear, that will finish the Minnesota penalty. Only one hey, too many passes here. there. Patrick Kane, I'm sure, will go to school on that. He had a chance to fire that puck there and tried to get that puck to Shaw. Wild penalty over, both teams full strength. Jalmerson's one-timer, a good look from Baxton at that. Koivu. Hoisting it back, and Crawford coming out to play it, so no icing here. And Oduya finds Jalmerson. Out comes Carcillo. Danny Carcillo has not been in the lineup three of the last four Hawks games. He's going to make a mark this evening. He knocked a man down in the corner there. Working against Foley. Buck rolled loose, and... Zucker for Minnesota. Cleared it into the Blackhawks zone. Here's a long shot. Crawford gave her rebound right to the middle. Hacked wide by Crosser was driving right down the down Main Street. Zucker bounced it back. Now has it again. Zucker. Rolled it loose. Centering pass. Hit Crawford. Then hit the stun Ben Smith. But the Hawks able to capture and Seabrook dumped it. Taves off the board. Jalmerson picked it up with a long wrist shot off a leg to Hosa. Henry and Hosa had it knocked away. And here come the Wild. The suitors pass. There's Hosa on the back deck with a stick on the ice. Great steal. Back comes Taze. Weave into the middle. Dropped it. Jalmerson shot it. And that was blocked out in front of it by Suter. Taze picked it up. Taken away by Foline. He... Was able to clear it, and Zach Parise rolled it right towards Crawford. He will go down to take a whistle. 
Well, a couple of good opportunities at either end, Pat. Go back to the power play chance. Kane to Taves, great set play here. Watch Andrew Shaw. Second chance opportunity, gets his stick down and is not able to elevate this puck up and over the pad of Nicholas Backstrom. Not a great angle, probably was in a little bit too tight, but you love the second chance opportunity. But a good set play there from Taves and Kane to create a quality scoring chance. Now Parise picked it up, centered it, Coyle whiffed on a one-timer. Retrieved by Seabrook, who's had eight shot blocks in his last two games. Seabrook goes to Keith, and the Hawks send it in. The line on the ice here for Chicago, Richards, Bickle, Payne, was dominant in Minnesota. Spurgeon's shot goes wide. I mean, the, the Wild couldn't get these guys figured out. Then the next game they went to Minnesota, they were minus three. They couldn't figure out the Derrick Roy line. So a feast or famine the last couple of games for the line centered by Richards. Here's Suter for Minnesota. His long shot blocked. Good play by Richards to get out to his point man. Well, the expanded Blackhawk stores are open at 333 North Michigan Avenue and at Oak Brook Center Mall. Stop in today to find an exclusive Blackhawks merchandise as well as limited edition products, memorabilia, and autograph collectibles. Visit ChicagoBlackhawks.com for more information. Now the draw. Blum's long one well wide. Julia rings it around. Kruger hacked it loose to Carcillo. Ben Smith, good kick to the stick. Ben Smith tipped and chased on Suter. Boybu takes it back. The Wild have their uh, top line out here against the so-called fourth line for the Hawks. Do we mention the desperate struggle of Miko Koivu of late one goal in 14 games for the Wild top centerman number nine who just leaves as you see to change. Plays in every situation as well. Yeah. No, no! Bouncy puck steal. Here's Teravine and his shot blocked. Nicely by Prosser. Shaw rolled it back. And it's picked off by the Wilds. Paula cleared it in. Parise drives, pulls up a spin around a backhand pass, bounced all the way to Crawford. He'll take a whistle. Petty, special congratulations to the Mission, Team Mission 2000s. Earlier today won the Silver Stick Championship in Port Huron, Michigan. So congratulations to the coaching staff and to all those young hockey players mission 2000s mission 2000s are for the birth year all those young hockey players 13 14 years of age i remember playing in a silver stick tournament way back when it's a long time ago <laughs> one up in quebec no no not the peewee tournament no okay. just another one but yeah that's uh, a lot of fun to play in the Silver Sticks. Rodin, and a wind it up for the Wild. He's had to throw it into Chicago ice. It'll be captured by Seabrook. Hot pass finds Tay as he looks to Hosa. Marion Hosa gets the line, sod to the net. Hosa hangs on, dropped it to Keith. A long foot shot is off a leg to Parise. Goleen, who had made the block, now carries it in. Minnesota changing on the move. Ball chipped to center. Shaw fights his way to the zone, driving. Shaw looks to slip it in front, picked off to Suter. And then Suter scooped the backhander out of there. Now taken by Roosevelt. Here to the head to Sharp. Patrick Sharp into the zone. Pressured by Brodziak. Brodziak steals and cleared to center. Here's Suter. And the run 
Rundblad has lost his stick. Now the Wild able to dump it in. Rundblad has the stick back. A little help from a friend and Tara Vinen. His pass deflecting. Nieder Ryder then checked by Roosevelt. Knocked him right down on the puck over the glass. Out of play. 13, 22 left in the second period. Hawks are up two. Back to the UC, Brian Bickle. The other night at Edmonton had eight hits credited in just 14 minutes of play. He's got two more tonight. That's 100 hits for the year for Brian Bickle, which is a number that's comparable to most other teams and their hit leader. But how about this? He's got 35 more hits than anybody else on his team. Oh, he's been bringing it in all different areas of late. Here's Kane. They're going to make something happen. It's pass tip to Shaw. Or I should say a Jalmerson. Then Richard tried to center, but Bickle well covered in front. Montaigne the other way. Niederreiter, good stick by Jalmerson. is carried on by Coyle. Bickle took it back. Took a hit, but cleared the puck out. Rodin fires it off a of partition to center ice. Coil there. They do it with a good stick at the blue line. Back come the Hawks. Richards carries. Crisscrossing with Bickle. Richards, a wrist shot off a leg to Coil. He lost it. will do you shot it. Love save. Back to me. Coughed it up. Now in behind is Richards. He got turned around. Coil takes over for the visitors. And then Zucker. Gets it into the zone. And Zucker got turned around, came up with a puck drive in the net, a stop shot down low. Crawford, he had it, lost it now. Loose to the wild. Froline couldn't find a lane. Zucker centered it. Here's Prosser, goal pole. Nate Prosser joined the play. Heard Steve Conroy talking about D men jumping in for the wild, and Prosser did there, got a good bid. And here's Keith breaking up a centering pass. Finally, Saad got it out of there. Here's Zucker, dumping it in. Over here, over here. Get out. Here's Keith, ahead for Taves. He's got the line. Taves for Hosa, driving, shooting, and a save by Backstrom. It's going to be held in by Oduya. And Parise took it back. Long pass missing Halla. The race is on for icing, and the whistle goes. Well, after an outstanding piece of work by Jason Zucker, Nate Prosser goes short side post. That's what it sounds like. And when you hit the post and it doesn't go in, it, it, it feels hollow, <laughs> just like that sound. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. No worse feeling if you see that puck not go in. A while get it in. Long great shot. Tip. Oh, good. Stop at a redirect. Crawford seemed to get a piece with his right arm. Well, they're coming here. What they are. Much better team game. Remember the shots were 10 3. Right. Now it's 22 18, favoring the Wild. Blum. Good feed. Parise drives in. Shoots one. Block Jomerson. He turns and fires it back the other way, and the Hawks will be guilty of icing. There's different ways to change momentum in a hockey game. Physical, you were talking about Brian Bickle, Pat. Sometimes you can get the puck in at the red line, chip it in, play 200 feet away from your goaltender and Corey Crawford. And right now, for the Hawks, they'd have to feel that the Wild have the momentum. So first thing is stop it, partner. And then when you stop it, what do you do in order to get it on your side? Because right now, a little bit too much chasing going on for the home team. Marcelo throws it in there. Hawks changing on the dump in. Blum, they scoop it the other way. Shooter. To get away from Shaw. And out they come. Niederreiter going to leave it for Coyle. Fontaine to the net. 
Coyle try to center it. The puck to Fontaine. It stops out. That seemed to hit the skate of Keith. And the Hawks start back. Sharp carries it into the zone. Left to Terravine and for Sharp. And the goal turns in behind. Now he rolls it back to Rosaball. Keith, a one-timer, and a save by Backstrom. Rebound to the Hawks, and Keith moves in. His long blast. He just missed the, front, the near post. Rosaball kept it in. Maravinen escaping a check. Maravinen is sharp. Hopped it back. Here's Rosaball. Sharp out of the corner. Rosaball able to keep it in. Rumblad shot and a save by Backstrom. Rebound taken by Niederreiter. Good shift, good way to get the momentum on your side right here with the shot line. Sharp shot, caught off by Backstrom. The Wild finally get it out. And uh, yeah, just what Eddie said, the Hawks in need of a solid shift like that. The Shaw line gave it to him. Now Dick looks on a follow up. Got it to Kane, walks in, shooting. And a block into the score. A shot was blocked and went right to Brad Richards and bang. The Blackhawks have a three goal lead. And Patrick Kane will pick up an assist there. This is his 13th multiple point game of the year. We're halfway through. Well, let's give an assist to the Shaw Sharp Tara Bynan line for setting the table in our Honda goal replay shows us. Brad Richards, all he's got to do, get to that area of the ice, stick on the ice, and go top shelf. But that effort, the effort by Shaw, Sharp, and Tara Vinen put the Minnesota Wild on their heels, get fresh bodies on the ice. The Blackhawks are able to make them pay. And that's a huge goal to give the Hawks a little bit of a bigger cushion here, up by three. That's an offside play at the Chicago Blue Line. We have eight and a half to go in the second period. The Hawks have goals from three guys. Hosa, Bickle, and Richards, all of them notching number nine this year. Tonight's Buddy Lunch Meets featured fan of the game or family. Tweet us a family theme pick with the hashtag Hawk Fan Photo. Say that three times fast. Hawk Fan Photo, Hawk Fan Photo, Hawk Fan Photo. And you might be featured on air tonight. Buddy Lunch Beats. Make more than a sandwich. Should be the <laughs> Bat of Steve Stoney girls. <laughs> uh, who's on the bump? <laughs> Oh, here it dumped in by the wild. Osa touched it loose, but it's missed. Pomerville's shot didn't get through. Spurgeon cleared it around the board. Osa back toward Taves. Now that Taves got checked. And now Suter's pass missed. That goes all the way down. I think wild. Well, nines are wild tonight, partner. Uh-huh. We're on good old channel nine. And all three Blackhawks scores tonight, as you've mentioned a couple of times, have recorded their ninth goal. Well, let's see. Richards, number nine, one. Bickle, number two, nine. Hosa, eight plus one is nine. Light it up. All right. <laughs> going to go play uh, Kino or something. <laughs> The Illinois Lottery and play nines right across. All right, here we go as the draw is by Brodeen, whose pass to Flex Seabrook. It's going to be icing Chicago. Hey, Pat, I meant, made mention of this the other night. i got to do it again. Uh, this Tuesday, I'm going to be in Dubuque, Iowa to be the keynote speaker at the USHL, NHL top draft eligible players coming from the United States Hockey League. At the luncheon in the afternoon in Dubuque, Iowa, and at nighttime there's a game. So young hockey players coming from the USHL will be there, available for the NHL draft. I know the Blackhawks will be there. I saw Mark Kelly, the terrific director of amateur scouting earlier today. He's going to have himself and uh, three or four of his other amateur scouts are going to be there uh, watching the game. So I'm looking forward to being in Dubuque on Tuesday afternoon. I'm 
sure it'll be a great afternoon and a terrific luncheon. And hey, are tickets still available? Tickets are still available. Right. You can go to USHL.com and the game and the luncheon as well. Shooter's long shot. Oh, that is a good block from Kruger. And then it's cleared to Smith. Keith is up with him. Ben Smith gets into the zone, lets it go. Fought off. Backstrom came well out to challenge. Made the save. Might have hit him right in the mask. Spurgeon. Bounce it to center. Back comes Kane. Got to wait for everybody to get back on side. And Patrick Kane sends Richards into the zone. Bickle. On the dummy play, he left it go to Kane. And the puck escaped him, and then Koivu got it out of there. Another good finish hit there by Bickle on Koivu. He's had at least four in this period, Pat, for sure. Brian Bickle, a physical play. Zucker trying to get away from Chalmerson. Didn't work out. He might have been in there if he didn't yes. blow a tire there. Now Koivu for the Wild. They dump it in Rosaval. In a plus five in his last nine games. That time to fire it back to the other end. That pass missed, though, icing Chicago. Talk about that chance for Ben Smith. He comes right down the right wing boards and lets it go. Might have been deflected there from Ryan Suter. And yeah, square right in the mask. Duncan Keith did a good job there, Pat, of staying on side. He dragged his leg to make sure that he wasn't offside with that opportunity for Ben Smith. Taves ripped it in. Foline back. Christian Foline was never drafted. 23 years of age. He clears this end of his own. There's Parise with a centering pass. Offered able to stick it away. Now, Parise dropped it to Foline, who whiffed on their stick, but actually broke on the shot attempt. He's going to try to have to defend against Taves, and that's an offside play. Great work from 23-year-old Christian Foline. Without a stick trying to defend against the dangerous Hawk centerman, he's able to prevent what could have been a good-looking scoring chance. But Taves will be offside on this sequence. And the Hawks with a three-goal lead late in the second period. Fans, don't forget to check out the Blackhawks blog at WGNTV.com. The blog is brought to you by, you know who, Vuk, Jeff Vukovic, your local nationwide insurance agent serving the area for 36 years. To join the nation, contact Jeff at JeffVuk.com. And remember, Nationwide is on your side. Right now, Foline will take a hit but clear the zone for the Wild. Sarah Vinan coming off his best game of the year. Weaves to the middle, shoots one. He tried to go high to the blocker side, just missed the target. Now it's taken by Runblad to Rosava. He'll look to Tara Vinan. Abo rolled it up the board, Shaw. Tara Vinan kept it in, a long wrist shot, and a save by Backstrom. Rebound to the Wild's Brodziak. Around the boards. And Colleen scooping it into the hog zone. Minnesota changing. Another good shift there, Pat, for that line. That Shaw, Sharp, Table Terra Vine in line. And the puck taken. By Suter's pass picked off, Taves walks in, dropped it, Hosa shot at Taves, back to rebound, made it out of the zone. Hawks misfired a pass, icing Chicago. Oh, Jonathan Taves does a nice shot here of getting the line, support by Marion Hosa, the quick little drop pass, and Shots from about 25 feet out, and Baxter's able to get the pad on it with just a nice execution there from Taves to his winger, Hosa. Oibu wins a draw. Here's Spurgeon trying to bank it to the front of the net. Didn't get the right hop. Suter goes in deep. 
Oduya got checked. And a centering pass broken up by Crawford to Hosa. Jomerson. Hosa wants it back. There's the pass. Hosa chipped it into the zone. Taves. Looks back towards Hosa, who is well covered in behind. And Commonville sends Zucker out of the wild end. Zucker trying to dance Jomerson. He did. He walks in. Penalty, Oduya. That might be a penalty shot. It is. That will be a penalty shot for Jason Zucker as he undressed Nick Jalmerson. And Oduya tried to come across to help. Ben, let's go back to that play, what was it, maybe five minutes ago? Yeah. Remember, Zucker looked like he was going to go inside, and he just blew a tire? This one here, I mean, he just put it in overdrive here. The reach by Johnny Oduya breaks the stride of Zucker. Right call made on the ice. And Jason Zucker with a penalty shot. Late in the second. He's got 15 goals more than any other Minnesota player. He's never had a penalty shot before. So Jason Zucker, who comes in here with two goals in his last three games, been hot of late for the Wild. A chance to give Minnesota a little life. Zucker with some speed up the middle. Missed the net. He went to the backhand, shot it wide. Looked like this puck rolled on him. During his stick handling here, Pat, and I don't know if this broke his thought process or not, but I mean, really, he doesn't, really never makes a move. See the puck's on edge, but he gets it settled down, and yeah, it looked like it was flat. He just missed it. But the one thing, hopefully we'll be able to go back to that, Pat, but there's a teaching point there, and there you see Jason Zucker, and now he's gonna need another stick for sure. But he really never gave the impression that he was going to ever shoot the puck the puck was in front of him the whole time so he never he took away any option of shooting the puck so we'll go back to that and do a little do a little teaching moment here all right carcillo threw it in there spurgeon goes up the boards and it's cleared to center spurgeon pressured by kruger wild able to get it out Coyle, Charlie Coyle, rolled it in. Fontaine back for Coyle. Then Niederreiter, had it taken away by Richards to Smith. Now it's change on the dump in with three minutes remaining in the second period. The Hawks up by three. Crawford made a direct pass, and Richards will put it back into Minnesota territory. That's uh, going to be gloved by Backstrom to hold. Zucker seemed to have one thing in mind of that penalty shot, Eddie. Go speed. Yeah, that's it, Pat. And, and also, too, look where this puck is here. Okay, now, Crawford knows he cannot shoot this puck. If he wants to shoot this puck, he needs to put it here, and Crawford will it'll keep him honest because when the puck is in front, when the puck is in front of him, he can never shoot this puck. So what, is there, what are his options? Either go to his backhand or go to his forehand. But if he puts that puck in a shooting position, it keeps the goaltender honest. So you have more options. So the teaching point is for all you young hockey players out there, if you can, get that puck off to the side. It keeps the goaltender guessing. Because if it's in front of you, he knows you can never shoot the puck unless you bring it there. So he was either going left or right. The only way he could shoot it, Pat, is to bring it back there. So why not keep it there, keep the goaltender a little bit more honest in the middle of the net, and then maybe, yeah, if you wanted to go to backhand the whole way, but if you get it in that shooting position, last second you go, you know what, I see something here, then you can pull the trigger. You're not going to be able to pull it from the middle of your stance to the side. Big contact in the corner on Roosevelt. Cook, who delivered the blow, rolled the loose, got it back, quick shot. Good block, Rumblad on Cook. It's held in by Prosser, his long one tip. What a save by Crawford, rebound is loose, and Crawford covering in the blue paint. Best save of the game for Corey Crawford, and he's made several good ones, none better than that. Oh, what a shot there from Nate Prosser after good work down low from Cook and Brodziak, and he just fights this one off, Pat. And you see the strong push off there going left to right. I mean, this puck changed direction about five feet in front of him. There's Runblad. Cook is there. There's that shot. Watch his puck change direction right there. Off of Matt Cook. And then you see Crawford just doing whatever he can. He thinks he's tracking left. And then the puck automatically goes to his right. 
was able to make an outstanding stop. They duel in the corner here. Roll back, Spurgeon shoots one. Crawford in traffic, able to stop it. Suter stripped by Hosa. He moved it out. Here's a two on one. Taves has Saad with him, and Oduya two, three on one. Here's Oduya, the trailer. It's shot, they score! Spurgeon did everything right. He broke up a pass. Then he made a shot block and hit him and went in. When it's going bad, that's the way things work for the Wild. They're down four. Another incredible play by Marion Hosa. All you young hockey players out there, watch the stick of Marion Hosa. His stick is on the ice. He takes the puck away from Ryan Suter and then makes the incredible pass up to Jonathan Taves. You said it, Pat. Spurgeon plays this absolutely perfectly. But Johnny O, is Johnny on a spot to be able to follow up and turn that two on one into a three on one? He gets a fortunate bounce off of Jared Spurgeon. But the play by Marion Hosa, sensational. Now Sharp. To get back to center. And now we get down to a minute remaining in the second period. He's hit and have been going at it all evening long. And think about that penalty shot, partner, right? Yeah. Game's 3 nothing. Zucker puts that in. Now it's 3-1. They got a little bit of life. And now you've given yourself some real separation after the goal there from Oduya. Very well, thank you. I mean, that... I haven't watched a lot of the wild games of late, but, you know... The Hawks beat him on Friday night in Minnesota in a game in which the Wild sub substantially outplayed the Blackhawks. Sorry, I said Friday was Thursday. But uh, they outplayed the Hawks by a wide margin. They lose the game. Here, there's a three-on-one against him. The D-man does everything right. He breaks up a pass. Then he blocks the shot. It hits him and goes in. It's just been a uh, run like that, it seems like. Uh, even when the Wild do things right, it doesn't work out. Yeah, you start fighting it, you start squeezing it, and when you play against a team like the Hawks, who are pretty angry after the road trip, even though they were 500, came out with a purpose, and so far so good through 40 minutes of play. The second period will wind down, and Coyle had a last second stuff bid. Rumblad uh, partially able to tie up his stick. And the Blackhawks in the uh, second period had a dozen shots on goal. They've now outshot Minnesota 27-26. Goals of the period from Richards and Oduya. And the second one, a shot block that went into the net. It is 4 nothing Chicago. It's been the best part about your team's game in the first 40 minutes tonight. Well, I think we're getting a, a quality offense, but we're not giving up a ton. Obviously, uh, uh, kind of a broken play that they ended up with the penalty shot there. Uh, they really eaten us up in the middle of the ice in the, in the uh, in our defensive zone where they've scored a couple goals in both games against us. I think we've been pretty conscientious of that, and we need to do the same in the third. All right, well, you can set yourself up for a nice couple of days off. Good do luck I, in the third. Yeah, do I look yeah. like Pierre with his uh, headset on? Please tell me now. You look way better. <laughs> All right, well. Way better. <laughs> See you, <again>. kid. <laughs> very observant. Well, very observant. And uh, not only does he look better, he sounds better. I'll just, that's just my own opinion. You can remain mute. Here's the draw as we start the third. Osa uh, hacked at it is Carice. That Carice to Pommonville, who was checked by Oduya. Now taken by Jalmerson, who has some skating room. He'll dump it. Now it's changing on the move. Jared Spurgeon. 
Tries to pull up at center. Suter will turn back. Ryan Suter in the uh, first 40 minutes tonight, on for 20 of them. That's kind of his uh, typical outing. Suter leading the NHL a nice time, about 29 and a half minutes a game. And this year, there have been 11 times this year where Ryan Suter played 30 minutes in a game. But how about this? Last year, he did it almost half the time, 37 games last year, where he had 30 minutes plus of ice. Now that is remarkable. Yeah, just like his uncle, longtime Blackhawk Gary Suter. Always in great oh, shape. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, he was a tireless guy. Play all night long for sure. That was fun to play against Gerald. <laughs> and he's a Packers fan, so. Bickle taking a look, tries to center. That's picked off by Halla. Wild come out, Fontaine rolled it. Halla to the other side, a centering pass from Ajak came all the way through. And Kane. Pass missing Bickle. Back comes Niederreiter, whose wrist shot goes wide. Got a lot on it, but missed the net. Back in, Carter. Well, they work on the boards, and only it's taken by Cook. I'm glad stripped him. Most of all, helped by Shaw. Spurgeon. Able to keep it in against Sharp. Michael Rosaval sends Andrew Shaw to center, then Sharp. Oh. It was picked right out of midair by Spurgeon. Now the Wilds, Koivu. Good stick by Taze right at the blue line. Commonville gains the zone with a wrist shot. Handled easily by Crawford to Keith. Runs it around for Hosa. Now Commonville. Will dump it in. Good play there from Duncan Keith really to shut off Jason Pombo. I mean, he was at the end of his shift. He wasn't going to skate by Duncan Keith there, but Blackhawks defense can do such a great job of shutting off so many plays in between the red line and blue line. Another good stick there for Marion Hosu, who should be one of the stars of the game here tonight. Yeah, Pat, I got another uh, couple of happy birthdays. Paige Arvanitis, a belated happy 23rd birthday, and also Giselle Medina plays on the Lake Zurich Mundelein Boys Varsity Hockey Team. Celebrated her birthday the other day, so Happy belated birthday to Giselle and Paige. Big Blackhawk fans and love the great Pat Foley. And, and who doesn't? <laughs> well, you're very kind, but I think I could come up with a list. Galmerson <laughs> able to clear it to center where Kruger got checked. Still made the play to Smith. In it goes. Now Blum. Suter taken away by Seabrook. Niederreiter gets in. Seabrook blocked his shot attempt. Kane. Patrick Kane, who's got two assists tonight. Oops, he turned that over and <laughs> he just steals it right back. Kane in this is his third game against the Wild this year. He's got eight points against Minnesota so far this season. Nate Prosser, it across, Suter, and it's dumped in. Galmerson dumped it out. Here comes Shaw, weaving, 
Taravainen wants it, tipped it back to Shaw. His wrist shot, kicked away by Backstrom. Rumblad kept it in. Shaw, Rumblad, here it comes. Say rebound, oh, Taravainen had a great rebound chance, and Backstrom stopped it. Well, that's at least a fifth, eighth-plus chance that this line has had here tonight. Nothing to show for it to this point. Shaw to Taravainen. Tavo Taravainen back to the line. Runblad's one-timer hit his own man sharp in front of the net. Picked up by Cook. Cook to Brodziak. Has no help. A weak wrister is handled by Crawford. Now back comes Saad with a dump in. Picked up by Suter for the while. Has broken up in the neutral zone. Carried on. Here's a shot. Oh, and it was fired high and wide by Parise. Osa chasing after it. Couldn't quite get there. Olin tipped it away. 13 33 to go in the third period. <laughs> Four to nothing in favor of the Hawks. And as well as the Hawks have strung their record together, this year have been not a lot of nights like this. Yeah. There have been a couple uh, runaway type games, but quite often uh, it's white knuckle right to the end. Here's a shot by Keith and a save. Backstrom, rebound to Vanek. Nice play there from Carcillo. Good hard pass. Duncan Keith anticipating it. Seabrook. Coyle gets back in. Zucker centered it, picked off by Richards Zook, to Bickle. Zucker's been their best player, Pat, by, by a mile tonight, especially their forwards, without question. Spurgeon looking to counterattack. Whiffed on a pass attempt, carried on Brodeen. And Zucker got turned around, stripped by Kane. <laughs> Out comes Patrick Kane. Wrapped it to Brian Bickle. Bickle back to Oduya. Kane. Not turned around. Jalmerson jumped in. Rodine steals. And the Wild get out. I just wonder, Pat. We talked about it in St. Paul the other night, Thursday night, when the Hawks were in there and got outplayed and, and beat the Wild. But I wonder at some point is something going to happen to Minnesota. And now it's certainly looking like it's going to be uh, two in 13 games. Yep. Tara Vinen for Shaw, who shot with block. Colleen with the stick. Koivu rolled it loose. Koivu, or I should say a Parise dumped it. Tara Vinen. Made a good pass to Keith. Sharp will fire a long one wide. And Spurgeon the other way. His pass went off a leg. Long time between whistles there, just exactly the way the Hawks and Mr. Olchek won it. Hala <laughs> <laughs> cleared it ahead. Niederreiter beaten to it by Oduya. And there's a hand pass. Oh, the, the announcer <laughs> curse. That's the Foley curse. All right, I'm taking it to break now after that. Go feel shame for five seconds. What a chance for Tavo Taravainen for after the big blast there from David Rundblad. Let's take a look at Corey Crawford's numbers. And these numbers are up to date. Here in the third period, I mean, nothing getting by Corey Crawford in the third period. I mean, that's a 9.55 save percentage in the third period, the very best. I'd hope so. <laughs> I'd like to find the guy that has a number higher than that. All right, now Taves with a stick of side. Taves on the drop pass.
Now Hosa goes across. Jalmerson. And a feed side. It was picked off. Hosa retrieved. Hosa works his way up the middle. Lost the puck at the last moment. Saad got it back. And now Blum for Minnesota. Here's it off the glass. What? Halfway through period three. Jalmerson. Trying to fire a bank pass. Took a funny hop. The Hawks, though, able to dump it. Picked up by Koivu. Now Jonas Brodin. Bounce it back into the Hawks. Oh, There's going to be icing wild. And uh, tonight, Eddie, the Blackhawks with their 250th consecutive regular season sellout. And uh, if you include the playoffs in this run, they're getting near 300 games in a row, 298 in a row tonight with every ticket sold for Blackhawks hockey. Just incredible stuff. Awesome. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Marcillo dropped it to Keith, then Seabrook. Smith, Carcillo, Kruger. Marcus Kruger. Ooh, trying to drive the net. The puck just rolled away. Kruger without a point in his last nine, trying to change that in this sequence. Here's Seabrook. Had a shot blocked. It's out of play with nine minutes remaining in regulation. The Hawks with a four-goal bulge. Well, Patrick Kane, we mentioned it earlier, but his 13th multiple-point game of the season. Now with 47 points in the first 43 games of the year. Bickle for Kane. For Richards. Or Bickle down low. Another steal back by the Hawks. Richards to Kane. He tried to center. Keith jumped in there, and Bickle had a stick check. And that's a hand pass. It looked like, yes, it hit the uh, a hand of a Blackhawk player, teammate next to touch it. We're talking about Patrick Kane is a hot run, vaulting him right into the conversation for the Art Ross Trophy. And we said it the other night too, Pat. I, I mean, with the success of the team, I, I think you got to put Patrick Kane up for MVP as well. Uh, look, a lot of hockey to be played. Continue to put those numbers up there. any doubt he should be in the conversation. I mean, if it ended right now, he'd have to be a finalist oh, for sure. For sure. Any question about that, yeah. I mean, Big Voracek has had an, uh, just a breakout season. He always played well against us, Pat, uh, when he was a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets, now with the Philadelphia Flyers and having an unbelievable season. Now, the team, not so much, but, you know, we know Tyler Sagan down in, uh, in Dallas. Dallas Stars trying to, you know, get back with get back and he blew a lead last night in Colorado but I think winning should matter and I mean unless you blow everybody's doors off partner and you, you win the scoring race by about 30 or 40 points and you don't make the playoffs but to me uh, certainly right now putting everything uh, under the umbrella to me Patrick Kane would be the guy good save by Crawford on a long Brodine blast but now you certainly would have Rene in that conversation, wouldn't you? He plays every game, and they've had a great year. And I think, uh, I think would certainly be, if not a finalist, yeah. at least a very strong consideration. And you can look at, uh, you know, the, the, the same cast of characters. Oh, boy, should have been no icing there with the hustle from Brandon Saad, but the official decides to go ahead and, and make the call. And also... Uh, you know, Evgeny Malkin, too, has had a terrific season with the Pittsburgh Penguins. A lot of hockey to be played, but when you're up around a scoring leader and 
your team is winning and having great success, uh, the accolades are going to come to a lot of different individuals, as for the uh, five members of the Blackhawks going to the All-Star game voted in by the uh, great Blackhawk fans, not only here, but surrounding states as well, and all throughout, really, the world when you think about the voting process for getting to the All-Star game. Charlene for the Wild. I mentioned this earlier. This young guy was never drafted, but uh, worked his way into the rotation of the Minnesota defense. Christian Froline. Long shot here. Shooter. Good save. Crawford. He did a good job in traffic. Now it's loose to Smith. And Smith able to get it to center. Yeah, it was Niederreiter with that second chance that was stopped by Crawford. Hollows long one. Picked away Crawford. Suter kicked it to the corner. Seabrook there, couldn't get it out. Chance for Spurgeon a shot. Never got through, tried again. That's blocked as well. And Smith fights his way back to center. Good job there for Ben Smith. Keep his legs churning there. Make sure Fontaine could not take the puck from him. At the end of a long shift, what's he do? Get to the red line, get the puck in deep, and get some fresh bodies on the ice. On the offside, if Zucker touches it, he knew that, could hear the linesman barking. Good job, Rad Lazarowicz, to let everybody on the ice know what the scenario was. So the play continues as Kane shoots it right on. And a save by Backstrom. Patrick Kane again for Brad Richards. Kane. Now Bickle from the corner. Ryan Bickle across to Johnny Oduya. Had to center, but nobody near that one. And Blum turned it over to Bickle. Just realized that Oduya had that goal back in that uh, second period, partner, and we talked about nines being wild. Well, two and seven is nine, so just line them up. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, officer. <laughs> <laughs> well, a 70 pass and 27 broken up, and Alex able to get it out. The three prior goal scorers in this game all scored their ninth goal of the season. Ryan Bickle, that dump it, I think you might have seen it. It hit him in the backside, maybe the back of the leg, and uh, he is limping to the Hawks bench. That's not what he was hoping to have happen, or anybody would late in the game. Here's the shot. They scored a rebound. The shutout bid of Corey Crawford ends on a rebound goal from Matt Cook in the wild, down three. This line has had a couple of decent looks for the Minnesota Wild. Brodziak, Carter, and Cook direct the puck towards the net. The shot from Brodziak, right pad, and Matt Cook just going right to the net. And Wild with their first of the night. The draw is picked up by the Hawks, and that was as far as center. Suter dumped it back in. And then the Hawks able to get it out. Now the pucks get cleared to center ice. Coil into the zone. Looks to center, hit the side of the net. Picked up by Seabrook. Bearing it out to center ice. Down to four minutes remaining. And the Hawks are up by a field goal. That's an extra move at the line by Carter. The whistle goes. In the late stages of the third, the Hawks up 4-1. Hockey has been brought to you by Ford. Inviting you to visit your local Ford store or localfordstores.com. BMO Harris Bank, we're here to help. Honda, start something special with a great deal on Honda. Now at your Honda dealer. Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. And by Toyota, see where Toyota takes you. Test drive one at your Toyota dealer. Toyota, let's go places. 
snowy night outside. The Blackhawks about to go three for three against the Minnesota Wild in the regular season series. Brodine it to Foley. He cleared it up the board. Rodziak holds it to center ice. Jonas Brodine gets the line. Then a centering pass hit, hit a leg to Sharp. Patrick Sharp to the net shooting. And then a piece of it for the blocker of Backstrom. Harabinen off the boards. His shot. Short side save made by Backstrom. And the puck cleared to center ice. Eddie, don't you think that uh, going back to the game at Edmonton, the kid's only played four times yeah. here for the Hawks this year, but this is back-to-back -back nights where he's been noticeable, and Rosemall, or I should say, uh, Runblad's going to get a penalty, it looks like. Yeah, Tara Vinan to me, Pat. I mean, he's gained some traction. He's gained some confidence playing more regularly. He heard Kevin Deneen tell us in that interview in between the, or right before the start of the third period is, you know, making the offensive plays, but from the coaching point of view, Pat, I mean, they look at they look uh, they look at a young player like that from the defensive zone out and being responsible. Much different position playing the wing than it is when he plays the center ice position. Made some really good plays. That line has had a, a really good night. Yeah, they, they've really generated a, a lot of good scoring chances. And, Nothing to show for it, but lots of positives there for the youngster. Here's a one-timer. Good save by Crawford. A fine pass. Vanek to Pominville through the box. And Crawford from post to post. A good stop. And push off right to left. And Crawford's able to find this puck. And Jason Pominville certainly knows what to do with the puck. He scored a howitzer the other night when the Blackhawks were in Minnesota on that five-on-three power play. Good face-off win there for Marcus Kruger and the anticipation of Jalmerson. Now, if you're Mike Yo, do you think about pulling the goalie here? I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to do that, but they're down three with two and a half minutes left sure. on a power play. Yeah, right. The four, one, five, one. I mean, what's the what, really? I mean, what's the difference? Yeah. I certainly would. Bill dumped it. Seabrook retrieved it, and he cleared it. Start away. Zucker with a ring around. Boyle checked by Oduya. Game three to Saad. See if Saad recognized that's Pominville, the forward skating backwards there. But it's Ahosa who shoots right on and a save by Backstrom. And the officials want him to keep the puck alive. <laughs> he held that for four seconds and no whistle. We play on. Yippee! I said the flight tonight at O'Hare. Here's <laughs> Boyle clearing it in. To hold a Sparky there at United. Yeah, he'll take care hold of Hold that flight. <laughs> that a boy, Sparky. Yeah. Sparky will do whatever it takes. Here's a flat. Oh, the one-timer went just wide. Oh, let's get the rebound. Now we get down to the final minute of the game and the wild are offside. Pat, I got a real nice letter uh, from Matthew Center who is recovering from knee surgery and uh, got a chance to meet Matthew's dad, Dr. Stephen Center, who works out in Southern California at University of Southern Cal, USC, and big Blackhawk fans. I'm sure that Matthew is tuning in and watching to tonight's game and enjoying the score with only 61 seconds remaining. And he said in his nice letter, he hoped that we had our soft serve ice cream tonight. <laughs> and I'll have nothing like it. That's about the only thing that's gone wrong. <laughs> well, there's still 45 that's seconds, right. partner. You don't hear old check for a while. You know where he went. <laughs> well, Prosser keeps it. Hawks penalty over both teams, full strength. Rosaval got sandwiched in the corner, Shaw to support. Able to clear it to center. Well, a real good bounce back game 
So you mentioned a little yeah. bit earlier, Pat, especially after the game in Edmonton. And even though they won the game in Minnesota, they played very well. Corey Crawford was outstanding in that game. And a real good job. And another good play by Terravina defensively there. But again, let's follow up on that because Corey Crawford, I think, really back-to-back -back performances yeah. now. Starting to look more like the guy we saw before he got hurt. Yeah, no, no question about it. And we've talked a lot about it all year, Pat. The goaltending has been A-plus all season long. Yeah, maybe there was that little time after Crawford came back from the off-ice injury where he gave up some soft goals. But over a course of 82 games or a course of 36 or 37 games, you're going to have a couple of games where the goaltending isn't great. you got to have your team bail you out. But Crawford, it seems like he's found his, regained his form here the last couple of games against Minnesota Wild. This is his 27th appearance of the year, Crawford. 18 times out of 27. He's given up two goals or less. Oh, a terrific uh, performance tonight. Backstopping the Hawks to a win of the uh, struggling Minnesota Wild. Continuing to, as their, their coach says, Mike Yo spin their wheels. They've now won two times in 13 starts. And they're in dire straits at the halfway point of their season. The Hawks victorious tonight. Now don't play again until Friday. So they'll set themselves up for uh, a nice break. This will be the longest break other than the All-Star break between games for the Chicago Blackhawks. Let's check out the three-star selection. Three stars of the game brought to you by Bud Light. The number three star of the game from the Blackhawks with 36 saves. Number 50, Corey Crawford. The number two star of the game from the Blackhawks with one goal and one assist, number 29, Brian Bickel. And the number one star of the game from the Blackhawks with one goal and one assist, number 81, Marion Hosa. Please turn your attention to the Blackhawks bench where Dan Rowan is with tonight's number one star of the game, Marion Hosa. Well, Marion, uh, your goaltender made 36 stops tonight, but you guys made it easy for them early with those two quick ones. Yeah, I think finally we had a great start in the game, and uh, that was really important because the uh, last bunch of games we didn't start well, and uh, that was the key to our win. You know, those early goals, the interior passing, on some of these goals is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the way you guys have been able to move that puck in traffic in the crease. Uh, definitely great play by uh, Taser uh, and also Kaner, the second one. So uh, nice passes. So you guys get four days off now. What are you going to do? I'm uh, going to you know, enjoy the time, take some break, and uh, enjoy time with the kids. All right, we'll enjoy it. Nice going tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Marion Hosa, your number one star.